What's up everybody? It's your boy Jamel back with another video and I'm here with Hatch Embroidery Digitizer. Uh, I've been getting questions from people about doing uh, using the 5x12 hoop with the SE600 like I did with my SE1900. So um, I'm going to show you guys how to digitize uh, for multi-hooping uh, for embroidering a large design with your 5 by 12 hoop for your SE 600 okay now this is the design that I did in my video uh, with the 5 by 12 hoop the games will be made design this is uh, a shirt that uh, I wear because I uh, I'm a gym rat so um I have my own, what you would say, fitness apparel. This is what I wear when I go to the gym. Matter of fact, this is what I wear when I go anywhere. I always have games will be made clothing on. So um, this is what I wear. And I want to show you guys uh, how to do, how to use your 5x12 uh, hoop for your SC600. Because that's the question I've been getting. And you have to uh, be able to multi-hoop it for that machine. So we're going to start off by, we have to resize this design, okay? This design has to be resized. So we're going to select all by you pressing Control A. And it selects the whole image. So now we have to see what size our image is. You can't do uh, a 5 by 7 hoop on the SC600 because it's it only goes up to a 4x4 four four hoop. Okay, so the size of this design now is 4.503 in width, 10, almost 11 inches in height. So in order to be able to use this design or use your 5x12 hoop on your SC1900, you will have to make the width of the design under 4 inches. So we're going to take the width of the design and we're going to make it, let's scroll down, 3.985 is good enough, okay? Now let's take the height down because the height, I mean the width, you know, the length of the sh of the design doesn't, you know, it, don't, it shouldn't really be past 10 inches. So we're going to do, we're going to bring this down to, let's put like, Maybe 10 inches. Let's see if I can get 10 inches on the dot. Okay, 10, point, 10 inches and 10.13 inches. Okay, we're gonna do it like that. All right. Now, the width of the design should fit in your 4x4 hoop. Okay, the length of design won't matter because this, the software is gonna, we're gonna digitize this for multi hooping. So, Make sure the width of your design is four inches and under. The, the length, you know, it could be 10, it could be eight inches long, it could be six inches long, it could be 12 inches long. Doesn't matter. You want the width to be correct. So now we're going to go over here and hatch. Now, I don't know about every software, but I know Hatch Embroidery Digitizer has a multi-hooping option which is right here so we're going to click this tab and our multi-hooping options are going to come up you have select hoop automatically add hoops splitting nine preview hoopings and preview hoopings is after you uh you set your design up for multi-hooping i'm gonna show you that in a minute okay all right so what you have to do here see right now we have a 5x12 hoop here. So we can't multi-hoop this design with a 5x12 hoop because you know this is it's not gonna it's a, it fits in this hoop. So we have to go over to select hoop, click that, and you have to select 4x4 four four hoop because that's the hoop that you're gonna be, that's the hoop that your machine takes, even though you're selecting a 4x4 hoop, you're going to be using your 5x12, but you want to 
multi hoop it for a four by four hoop, so it'll uh show up on your uh SC six hundred when you transfer the design to your uh USB thumb drive. So we're gonna select four by four hoop. Press OK, and now we have a four by four hoop right here, and you can see that it's only gonna Whatever is in green, that's what is on going to embroider. So it's going to embroider the I, the B, and the E. So we need more hoops, right? So you can add a hoop manually, or you can just press automatically add hoops. This is a good feature to have because it automatically puts the hoops in the right position for you. So we're going to press automatically add hoops. And what it's going to say is the current layout of the hoop position will result in four hoopings, okay? Now, imagine you having to re-hoop your design four different times. And you have to make sure it's straight every time. Every part of the design is straight and lining up perfectly. It's going to be a pain in the butt. So, instead of using four, instead of hooping it with the 4x4 four four hoop and then once that first part finishes then rehooping taking it off and then rehooping it you just hook up your 5x12 hoop and the only thing you're going to do is your 5x12 hoop you're going to leave your shirt hooped in there and you're just going to move it over you're going to move the whole hoop over so to see how this is going to stitch out you go over to preview Hoopings and that's in hatch embroidery software. I'm not sure if other software does this uh, Wilcom this this Digitizer software is made by Wilcom. So I'm thinking any Wilcom uh, Digitizer may do this, but I know hatch does it and Hatch you can get hatch from their website. You can do a 30-day trial um, I don't get paid for advertising hatch so you can get a 30-day trial Try it out for 30 days, see if you like it, go ahead and buy it. This, this program costs about 1200 bucks. Um, so to see how it's going to uh, output for your uh, machine, you press preview hoopings. You press that, all your hoops are going to come all the way to the right side of your screen. Your first hoop will be the G, wheel, and that dash and line, that's, that's going to be your first hooping. Your second hooping is going to be A, I, and the B. Then your third hooping, then your fourth. All right? But you're not going to be switching hoops. You're going to just hook up your 5x12 hoop. You're going to hook your fabric or your shirt and your 5x12 hoop, and then you're just going to move it over. Now, one of the things that you will have to do is Cause these are going to be four different files so when this is done you have to load this file and I'm going to show you all that on the machine you have to load this file next what you're going to have to do is on the machine you're going to have to push this over to the G or you're going to have to line it up in the machine instead of lining it up and taking the hoop out and lining it up that way you're just going to have to line it up in the machine and make sure it's close like this part over here. So you're gonna have some room to play around with it and move it over. Same with this. You're gonna have a little bit of room to play around with, move it over close to the to the eye. Move the N over close to the eye or the E close to the B. Everything should line up perfectly. And then you move this over to this part. It should line up perfectly, okay? And as you moving this stuff over, you may have to move you might have to move that 5 by 12 hoop over one position, or you may have to move it over two positions. But either way, you're going to have to make sure you line up everything inside the machine's software, okay? So after you have this part right here, for the people with the SE600, this is for using multi-hooping with the SE600, 4 by 4 hoops. You're going to come over here. To output design, and this is in Hatch Embroidery. And you're gonna export your design. Let me get my 
thumb drive right quick. So if I put my thumb drive in the computer. Okay, that lets me know it's reading it. So you're gonna come, I'll come over to export design. And I export this design. <clears throat> okay, let's see, games will be made multi. I'm gonna put four by four. Cause that's that's for the four by four hoop, okay? Um let's put it in the four by four folder. And we're gonna press save. And this is on Hatch Embroidery Digital. So. <clears throat> now what it's doing is saving each one of these as a separate file. This is a PES file. That's a PES file. That's a PES file. And that's a PES file. It's going to save each one as a PES file. And I go to save all now. Click that. All hooping files were saved. Press OK. And now all those, those four hooping files should be on the USB thumb drive. And now we're going to go over to the machine. And I'm going to show y'all how it's going to look when you put your thumb drive in the machine, how it's going to load up, all right? So let's get over there to the actual machine. All right, everyone, we're over at the machine now. I have it on, so we're going to press this screen. Get the machine ready. Okay, and now we're going to insert our USB thumb drive. that in. Now we're going to open the thumb drive and now we're going to go over to where our design, where we saved our designs at. I saved it in a 4x4 four four folder so that's why I have to go. Let's zoom in a little bit <clears throat> so you guys can see. Alright, so we're going to go find our four PES files which should be all the way in the back. There's three of them and here's the first one, okay? It's so one, two, three, four. So at this point, it should be in a four by four hoop. It should fit in. I, I get three hoops on mine, five by seven, four by four, and a little small two by two, I think. So it's in a four by four, set up for four by four. At this point, you should have your shirt hooped inside of your five by 12 uh, <clears throat> hoop. And your hoop position can vary depending on your design, okay? Hoop position can vary depending, depending on your design. So when I put mine in, I put it all the way to the first one. Oh, uh, not that one. All the way here, okay? It's going to start. You want your image to start back there, all right? So put it all the way to the front like that. And you see how this is moving? You see how that's moving around? You don't want that to move around. So what I take and do is I take these clips and I put them right here. That stops it from moving. You may not have to go that far over, but I'll go all the way over with mine. You may not have to go that far over. Put these clips in that stops it from moving and shaking side to side because I'm not using that first. If you can see, I'm not using this one yet. I'm using that very first one. And it all depends on your design. Okay. So we're gonna load up our first PES file, which is the first part of the design. Set. Alright, now you have a little bit of room to move your design over. You can move it over that way, or you can move it over that way, okay? Now, you, you move it to where you want the design to start at on your shirt and your five by 12 hoop. You press okay, and then you're ready to stitch out your design. So once this first design right here finished embroidering, we're gonna go back And you're going to go back in 
to where your designs are, and then you're going to load up your second PES file, okay, because it's all broken into sections. Now, you got room to move this around, but first, what you want to do is, you want to take your 5x12 hoop, you want to move it over. Now you're going to move your 5x12 your hoop over. You may have to move it over a little bit more, or you may have to adjust it in here. So you got some play. Move it over or move it over this way. But you want your A to line up perfectly next to your G or your, your B to line up perfectly the way your design is supposed to be. Even though you're just moving the hoop over, you're still going to have to come in the software on the machine and make an adjustment and have it close to the other letter like it's supposed to be and so on so after that finishes if you have to move it move the hoop over you go ahead and move the hoop over if you don't you probably can just move move the design over but you just move your hoop over again and that should cover the last parts of the design or you can move it over to the very last hole that's on there like I said, you see how it's leaning? It's not leaning anymore, okay? And you can do that, and it'll stay right where it's at. All right? It'll stay just like that. And that's how you use, that's how you'll be able to use your 5x12 hoop on your SC600, okay? You have four different PES files, same design, one hoop. You won't have to switch out your 4x4 four four hoop. It's going to be all on here. The only thing you're moving is the hoop. That's all you're moving over. And that's pretty much it. That's how I did the oversized design with the uh, on my on my shirt. With the Games Will Be Made shirt. That last, the video before the last video. That's how I did the Games Will Be Made shine, sign on the shirt. Matter of fact, I got the shirt on right now. Let me, let me go to it. <laughs> Alright, so that's how I was able to do this design right here on my PE, I mean on my SC1900. And you can do this on the PE800 and you can do this on the SC600, but you have to digitize your design for multi-hooping and a digitizing software first. Now I use Hatch, pretty good software. It's, I mean, it's really good, it's really user friendly. So if you never digitized before, they do have a 30 day trial on, on the website. It is only for Windows. I have an iMac, so I had to use Parallels to put Windows on my iMac and then use it that way. But go download the trial. It's a really good software, Hatch Embroidery Digitize, okay? Learn how to digitize, or if you need somebody to digitize it for you, and it has, if you want to put words like this and you need somebody to multi-hoop it for your machine, I can not provide that service. Uh, you can <clears throat> send me your file at canvasapparel2019 at gmail.com. I'll try to multi-hoop your design for you, okay? Uh, for a small fee, of course. Um, so, if you like the video, hit that like button. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. Hit that uh, subscribe button. Turn on your post notification bell, and when I have more videos, you get a notification. All right, cool. Um, so I hope y'all learned something today. I hope you got something out the video. Hope you learn how to use a five by twelve hoop. Go get you a digitizing software so you can multi hoop. Make sure the uh, the digitizing software can multi hoop. Okay, Hatch does. Okay, so um. Hope y'all like the video, and I'll see y'all next video.